In this video, we're going to look at how we can square a complex number. As we do, we remember that complex numbers can work like any other variable, so this is gonna be very similar to how we did 4 minus 5x squared. But as we do, we need to be careful. We cannot just square both parts and call it a day. You may remember that we have this property that a plus b squared, the way we square a binomial is we square the first term, a squared, and then we multiply them together, a times b, ab, and it's there twice. ab and ab is 2ab, and then finally we square the last term to get b squared. We can follow much the same pattern as we square the 4 minus 5i. Squaring the first term, 4 squared is 16, and then we multiply them together. 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. That's gonna be there twice. Negative 20i and negative 20i is negative 40i. And then finally, we square the last term. Negative 5 squared is positive 25i squared. However, we remember that i squared is special because i squared is negative 1. So we really have 25 times negative 1, which is negative 25. Our expression now reads 16 minus 40i minus 25. We can finish by combining the like terms. 16 minus 25 is negative 9 minus 40 i for our final solution. Again, when we square a complex number, we square it just like i was any other variable. Square the first, multiply them together, and we have that product twice, and square the last term. The only special thing we need to remember is that i squared is negative 1.